What do you know about complementary angles? Let's review. When the sum of the two angles is equal to 90 degrees, they are called complementary angles. Take a look at this illustration. Here is a right angle or a 90 degree angle. We know that for certain because one ray is perpendicular to the other. Let's name this angle DEF. Its measurement is 90 degrees. To come up with complementary angles, we simply split this angle into two by adding one side. Let's have side EG. Now we have two angles adjacent to each other or next to each other sharing the same side. Angle DEG is the complement of angle GEF. And so, if the measurement of angle DEG is 60 degrees, what would be the size of angle GEF? Remember, these two angles together would be 90 degrees. Therefore, if one of the angle is 60, the other must be 30 degrees to get a total of 90. Let's have another right angle QRS. One ray is perpendicular to the other, which indicates that this angle is a 90 degree angle. Again, we will add one side to split this angle into two. The sizes of the angles don't really matter. It doesn't have to be equal. One can be smaller, the other can be bigger. Let's have side RT. Now we have angle QRT as the complement of angle TRS. If the angle TRS is 20 degrees, what would be the size of the angle QRT? Well, if together they make 90 degrees, subtracted by 20, therefore the remaining angle QRT is 70 degrees. It is pretty easy to distinguish complementary angles, is it not? How about supplementary angles? How do you distinguish supplementary angles? Take note of this. When the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees, they are called supplementary angles. We know for a fact that an angle with a measurement of 180 degrees is also called a straight angle. But what is the difference between a straight angle and a straight line? A line has no beginning and no end, while a straight angle is made up of two rays with one endpoint. And this endpoint is the vertex. Let's study this straight angle SQR with a measurement of 180 degrees. If we split this angle into two by adding one side, we now have two angles and they are called supplementary angles. Let's name the side QP. So angle SQP is the supplement of angle PQR. If the measurement of the angle SQP is 135 degrees, what would be the size of angle PQR? If these two angles together make 180 degrees, subtracted by 135, therefore the remaining angle is 45 degrees. Let's look at another example of supplementary angles. Study this straight angle KLM with a measurement of 180 degrees. If we split this angle into two, by adding one side, we now have two angles and they are called supplementary angles. Let's name the side LT. Angle KLT is the supplement of angle MLT. If the measurement of angle KLT is 110 degrees, what would be the size of the angle MLT? If these two angles together make 180 degrees, subtracted by 110, therefore the remaining angle is 70 degrees. Let's do some simple exercises. Study the given figure and identify the size of the missing angle. We have figure A, figure B, figure C, and figure D. 
You can always pause this video if you need more time to think. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and check your answers. Take note that the first two figures are complementary angles, while the other two are supplementary angles. Let's start with figure A. If complementary angles add up to 90 degrees and the given angle is already 60 degrees, therefore the other must be 30 degrees. Do the same with figure B. From 90, you subtract the given 52 degrees and we still have left 38 degrees. Therefore, angle X is 38 degrees. Figure C shows supplementary angles. Together, they make a straight angle with a measurement of 180 degrees. So if one of the angle is 25 degrees, to be subtracted from 180, the other angle would be 155 degrees. For figure D, again, these are supplementary angles with a total of 180. So we subtract the given 115 degrees, we still have 65 degrees left. Therefore, the measurement of angle X is 65 degrees. One way to avoid mixing up these angles is to take note that C comes before S in the alphabet and that 90 comes before 180. Here is an extra challenge. Study the given figure and answer the guide questions. Here is question number one. What angle is the complement of angle AME? Number two. What angles are the supplement of angle CMB? And the last one, number three, how many right angles are there? And name them. Just take it easy. You can always pause this video while working on your answers. But if you think you're ready, let's go ahead and see if you got them all right. So for number one, just find the pair of angle AME to come up with complementary angles. So the complement of angle AME is angle EMD. For number two, just find which angle to pair with angle CMB to come up with 180 degrees forming supplementary angles. Here is one of them. On this side, the supplement of angle CMB is angle BMD. Here is another one. In this vertical side, the supplement of angle CMB is angle CMA. Finally, how many right angles are there? The obvious answer is four right angles. And they are angles CMA, CMB, AMD, and DMB. And that's it. So what do you think about this?